What's up, bud? It's Rob. This is Apparel Success, and this is going to be a short video that has very long-term benefits for you as an entrepreneur. I know that the majority of people that watch these videos are between the ages of 20 and 35 years old. They're trying to run a successful clothing brand, and I know that really those are the ages where you're trying to move from being a kid to being an adult. And in this video here, I want to talk about taking radical responsibility for every single situation that's going on in your life, whether that's the amount of sales that you're getting for your clothing brand, whether that's you know how people are responding to you, how people treat you. I'm talking about taking radical responsibility in this video and how that will allow you to take control into your hands, change the way that you're behaving, and actually get results, push the ego aside, and make things happen. I think this video is gonna be great. Here it is. This channel here is sponsored by my buds over at Design Crowd. And if you need designs made for your clothing brand, I recommend that you check out Design Crowd. Design Crowd is a website that helps entrepreneurs crowdsource amazing designs from designers located all around the world. And for a special $100 VIP offer for apparel success viewers only, head over to www.designcrowd.com forward slash apparel to learn more, or simply use the discount code apparel when you post a project on Design Crowd. All right, so tell me you didn't experience this. Right before you launched your clothing line for the first time, you were extremely excited because you felt like this could really take off. You've got an amazing idea and you're so excited about your products that when you launch, you just feel like you're gonna be able to sell it all and you're gonna get tons of orders coming in and this could really take off. This could really change your life, right? I know that you felt that way because this is a way that almost every single first time entrepreneur feels when they're launching a product. It's this feeling like everything's gonna take off and everything's just gonna go absolutely amazing. And then of course, just like I went through, just like most clothing brand owners go through, after you launch, you know, you realize that there's this three months to six months to a year long period where things are actually pretty hard and it's really hard to make sales and things just aren't going that way that you thought it would before you started your clothing brand. Now this is super common to go through and it's exactly what I went through when I first started up my clothing brand, this long period of struggle and having to find solutions and really there is absolutely no issue with going through that. What I'm talking about in this video and the thing that is really detrimental to the success of any brand are the clothing brand owners that when they're going through this phase of struggling and realizing that things are hard, their, their mindset automatically goes to a place of blaming other things, okay? So they'll say, you know, oh, the clothing brand industry is just in a bad place right now, or, you know, Instagram's just not the same as it used to be, and starting up a, a clothing brand is way harder now than it used to be, and so, you know, that's why my clothing brand didn't work out, and it's not because of, you know, the way that I actually approach the marketplace, or the designs that are on my clothing, or how far I've gone into my brand concept yet, or how hard I've worked at actually trying to gain celebrities and influencers, to wear, to wear my clothing, but instead they'll actually blame external forces and you know external factors for why they're not being successful yet or why they didn't achieve success. And really when you're presented with that situation of going through the struggle of starting up your clothing brand and figuring out that you know it's gonna be a lot harder than it is, you're faced with a choice and the choice is, am I gonna blame other people and other factors for why I'm not being successful and call it quits? Or am I going to take full responsibility for what has happened here and why I'm not gaining success right now? And I'm talking about taking radical, radical responsibility for why everything has gone wrong. And now what this does is it actually opens up a place for you to make changes. So taking responsibility for your lack of sales, your lack of growth inside of your clothing brand isn't about feeling bad about yourself, but when you put the responsibility on yourself and you say, well, there's something that I'm doing that's not right, it actually allows you to change and make adjustments to the point where you are doing something right and you're actually able to get results. And I mean, this is what I do with literally every single aspect of my clothing brand, whether it's marketing, you know, my approach to marketing, if we're not getting results, I don't say, well, it's because the marketplace doesn't, you know, isn't responding in the right way to me. I'm saying it's because of the way that I'm approaching them, the way that I'm actually presenting the brand to them, there's something off, there's something that needs to be tweaked. I do this for our story, you know, if, if our story isn't converting very well on the website, I think about how can I actually present this story in a better way rather than thinking, oh, people are just like bad, and they don't care about, you know, the story of our brand and it's because people suck. It's not because of that, it's because the way that you're presenting the story isn't in a way that's actually resonating with them and it's all 
really at the end of the day, something that you can change to actually get the result that you want, okay? So I don't want you to feel bad about yourself. That's not the point here. The whole point is so that you can actually really just, you know, become a powerhouse and make changes that actually get results. I take this idea of full responsibility very far, even to the point where the way that people treat me is oftentimes my own responsibility. And that's just because oftentimes the way that people treat you is a byproduct of how you're being to them. You ever meet somebody where they're so off-putting and they think it's you that's being the asshole when in reality you're like, I'm being an asshole to you because like the way that you're coming at me right now is so rude and so impolite that you're actually creating this response from me that is really hard for me to be nice to you when you're coming across in this mean way. And in the same way, I know that if I'm coming across to you in the right way, if I'm delivering you value, then I know that you'll keep coming back, you'll keep watching my videos. And if I'm not, you know, if I'm coming across to you in a bad way, if all the views start to go down and these videos start to get horrible responses, it means that there's something that I'm doing wrong that I need to adjust. And it's not necessarily you that I should blame, right? It's me that, you know, there's something that I can do to actually come across in a better way, okay? So I really think that this is making that jump from being a kid to being an adult where you take full responsibility for every little thing that's going on in your life because at the end of the day, almost every single thing that's going on in your environment, whether it's your business, whether it's your life, comes down to you know the, the way that you're being and the way that everything that you're doing. I hope you like this video here. Let me know what you think in the comments below and drop your brand down there. I like to check out the brands that are watching these videos. And if you haven't already, check out my free clothing brand marketing masterclass video, okay? It's 100% free to watch. All you have to do to get access is go to www.apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass. You can watch the whole thing for free. And if you've made it to this point in the video, I wanna let you know about the closed Facebook group that we have going on for Apparel Success. There's a link in the description. Follow that link, join us in the group or a bunch of clothing brand owners all in there to support each other and answer each other's questions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace. Lay back, get relaxed, and just lock in and soak up all this information. When new visitors come to your account, the first thing that they're gonna do is read your bio to find out exactly who you are and what you do. Say you reach 20,000 followers on Instagram and you get some celebrities and influencers, then you'll reach a certain point where you can finally leverage that. Like some of these celebrities, it's just like, sure bro, I'm down. Send me whatever you want, thanks a lot. Like you can just tell that, you know, they don't really wanna be formal about stuff like this. And I'm going to show you in the next upcoming modules the very strategic and systematic way that you can go about doing it. I'm really excited to show you. I'm gonna show you right now exactly what to do to implement this system for yourself and let's crack into it right now. What I'm doing here is I'm guiding you into the light. I'm gonna show you exactly how to grow up your account from the very beginning if you don't have anything to leverage. It just constantly keeps growing because as long as you're putting in the work, as long as the strategy's there, you will get results over time. You will get there if you put all this in place that I'm about to share with you, you will get there. I'm really excited for you to do this.